With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, in this question given half-life time for a first order reaction is a 25 minutes. What time will be required for 99% completion of the reaction? So in this question, we have to given a first order reaction and it's a half-life that is a 25 minutes. We have to calculate how much time is required for the 99% completion of the reaction. So in this question, we have to the given data half-life, half-life of a reaction, half-life T half, half-life T half that is a 25 minutes, half-life T half that is equals to 25 minutes and how much time required for the completion of a 99% reaction. So let us consider the initial concentration of the reactant is the 100%. So let us take initial concentration, initial, initial concentration, initial concentration of a reactant reaction, initial concentration a naught initial concentration a naught of a reaction that is a hundred percent and we have to given the reaction is a 99 percent completion so in the chemical kinetics we have to take the how much is re concentration is remain at a time t which time that time we have to calculate so we can write the concentration of a reactant left the concentration of a reaction the concentration the concentration AT, AT is the concentration of a reaction left. The concentration of a reactant AT, AT means the concentration of the reaction left. So the, that the concentration of reactant, the concentration of reaction left, the concentration of a reaction left, that is equals to initial concentration, that is the 100% and the reaction is a 99% get completion. So 100% minus 99% reaction get completion that is equal to the reaction AT the, of the reaction of the concentration of the reactant left at a time T that is equal to 1%. So we can write at a time T, we can write at time T, at a time T, at a time T, the concentration of a reaction, the concentration of a reaction left the concentration of a reaction, the concentration of a reactant left ET, the concentration of a reaction left ET, that is equals to 1%. 1%, we have to calculate the that's time. So, we know that the half-life of a first order reaction formula, the half-life of a first order reaction formula, half-life of a first order reaction, half-life is represented like this T half, Half-life of a first order reaction. Half-life of first order reaction. Half-life of first order reaction formula. That is the half-life of a first order reaction. That is the T half-life. T half-life of a first order reaction. That is equals to 0 0.693 upon K. Where K is the our rate constant. K is the our rate constant. So now we can calculate K that is equal to 0 0.693 divided by T half divided by T half. We know that the half life given in the question that is a 25 minutes. That is equal to 0 0.693 divided by 25. So now the calculation from this part we get the value of a K. The rate constant K that is equal to 0 0.0 0 0.0 277 minute inverse 277 there is a unit of a minutes half life unit minutes is given 0 0.0277 minutes inverse minutes inverse so this is the our rate constant k so now we know that the first order reaction integrated rate law the first order reaction integrated rate law that is equals to kt kt equals to 2.303 2.303 into log a naught log a naught a naught is the initial concentration of the reaction upon at at is the concentration of the reaction left at a time t we know that the a naught value and we know that the at value so now 
k is the over rate constant that is equals to 0 0.027727 277 minutes inverse minutes inverse into t into t that is equals to 2.303 2.303 into log into log a naught is the given we have to a naught is the 100 percent divided by 80 is the 1 percent so now we know that the log 100 log 100 that is the 2 log 100 value that is the 2 not 2 into 0 0.0277 minute inverse 77 seven minutes inverse that is equals to 2.303 into log 100 into log 100 and we know that the value of a log 100 the value of a log 100 that is a 2 so now the calculate from this part we get t into 0 0.0 t into 0 0.0277 minutes inverse 7, 7 minutes inverse that is equals to 2.303 and log 100 the log 100 value is a 2 so now we can calculate t rearrange the term that is a 2 into 2.303 2.303 whole divided by 0 0.0277 minute inverse minute inverse so now the calculate from this part we get the value of t that is equals to 166.16 minutes 166.16 minutes so the completion for the 99 percent reaction the time taken that is a 166.16 minute so i hope this answered your question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today